Grade six math practice test for T and ready. Question number 29. So part three, so we can use calculator here. That might help. What is the value of six times the quantity X plus 15 minus 12 when X is equal to 12? Now X here is a variable, of course, which means it can have a number of different values. Really the only way we can tell is if we lock it in by setting the entire equation equal to something and then X has to have a value. Or we can just tell you what the value is, which is what they did here. They said, hey, x is 12, just in case you were wondering. So what I'm going to do is rewrite the equation. And I have to look at the relationships a little bit as well. So x plus 15. So instead of that, I just put 12 plus 15. If it had been 3x, I would have to do 3 times 12, just saying. So now I have all the parts that I'm looking for. And I'm going to use the short version or the smaller version of the order of operations pyramid here. If you don't know what that is, I talk about it in question uh, 28, I think. So anyway, I'm just going to follow the order. The first is parentheses, so here's some parentheses. This is a calculator section, so there's really no reason um, don't become overly dependent on it. You might be able to type it all in and hit enter, but just do yourself the favor of taking and writing down a few steps. It'll make sure you don't make any little careless mistakes. It's 27. Do I think that I couldn't figure out what that addition was on my own? Of course I could figure out what it is. The problem is if I'm taking a test and I get nervous, sometimes just going back to click on the buttons a little bit, if you can do it in the right way, will actually... It's, calming to you. It justifies your correct. So the next one down, um, it's no more parentheses, no more exponents, multiply and divide, divide, uh, multiply. I don't know why that looks like a W. It should be an M, but there you go. Uh, but multiply is the only one of those two that exist, and left to right, I would do that first. So 6 times 27, 162, and everything I'm not using, I'm bringing down. Finally, we're just at an add-subtract situation. It's subtraction. 162 minus 12 should give me 150, but because my nerves are shot, because I've been doing this test all the morning long, I'm just going to check, yep, 150, and I'm going to write that in the space provided. Make sure that you write the answer in the space provided and just leave it on your paper uh, or on scrap paper or something because they won't give you credit if you don't put the answer down uh, for them to see. So when you have this type and you're given a variable and they define it, just substitute the value in appropriately for wherever the value variable is in the statement and the expression um, and then work the expression out till its logical conclusion using the order of operations.